Welcome to Wire Guild. This is a video in the skill set videos section and it's regarding tools. Okay, so the tools that we use. I'm starting with some just square nose pliers, um, fairly basic. Uh, I have two pairs, well actually I probably have more than two pairs, but I'm just going to show you these two. They're both wubbers, but you can see the ends are quite a different size. Uh, it's half the size is the one on the right. I have a, a cheaper pair here, and as you can see these are slightly smaller. So it's often an idea to have different pairs as and when you get them, so that you can use them for for different things, different sizing. But I do like my wubbers. They are very strong. The little clips here don't break. They make a good spring for you to use against. They're very substantial and they take whatever you throw at them. Mine are getting quite old now, um, but still going strong. So those are square ended pliers. And next we're going to have a look at snipe or chain nose. Snipe or chain nose just depends where you are in the world. Uh, nice flat face on the inside, nice and smooth and a rounded back that tapers to a point. This is so that um, when you're working with close work where you have to get right in at something, you can actually get in with the end of the pliers because it's nice and little. Again, what was, like I say, I love them. Um, I have another pair here which were a much cheaper pair, which again, snipe nose pliers. Um, they're slightly thicker on the point which means you can't get into quite as little places also I don't know if you can see there but the jaws are slightly sort of crossed over this is because they're cheaper you pay for what you get you really do but I do like those <laughs> okay um, round nose pliers round nose pliers the jaws are round all the way around and they taper up to a fine point Again, I've got the nice springy bits in there. Really used more for shaping wire than actually manipulating wire. They're not very good on grip, so much better just for shaping, just to use your wire to wrap around if you want little circles. Okay, that's round nose players. These are a different pair. Again, a much cheaper set, and you can see that they are much shorter in length and a little bit thicker at the end so obviously you can't make as fine a detail and then I have these these are tiny not very strong but very can we see the ends not quite in this light um, I know we'll um, I'll just get some wire so if I get some wire I can show you the difference so if I make a little circle with the head the end of the wire with my wubbers, just I'm not going to do anything fancy with it. Let's just snip that off. And you see, look, I can't leave it alone. It's not quite straight, so I have to play with it. And then I use my tiny pliers. Like I said, they're not as strong. You have to be careful with them. But just curl that round. And of course, I have to straighten it up. That's it. I'll straighten that one up while I'm at it. OCD. <laughs> okay. So now you can see the difference in the size of the circle. So that was round nose pliers. A ruler. I do have a steel ruler somewhere, but my sons steal it on a regular occasion so this is just a cheap plastic one I have lying around. I'd like to use a 12 inch rule rather than a 6 inch or a 30 centimeter rather than a 15 centimeter so that when I make a bracelet I can actually center up and lay it in the middle of the ruler. Um, plastic jawed pliers really not totally necessary but the jaws inside the, the main metal work of the pliers are made out of plastic and this allows you to either tighten things up or, as I'm going to show you, if you've got a kinked up piece of wire, I'm just going to grip that with another pair of pliers because it's not a very long piece. 
There we go. You can see how the plastic jarred pliers just smooth the wire out. So like I say, not a necessity, but if you do have a pair, they do come in handy. Nice straight wire. Although it's a bit work hardened. So the pliers, the plastic jod pliers, if you wear them out along the edge and, and you, you sort of tear into the plastic, you can undo these screws and you can buy new plastic jars for them. Which is quite economical, then you don't need to buy whole pliers again. Uh, the only other thing that you would possibly need um, is a pin vise. I don't know whether you can see it, there's a little tiny cross open in the end there. Now I'm just going to put a piece of round wire in, obviously, well I am if it don't fall out. Um, round wire doesn't do anything in a pin vise, it's just to show you how the wire goes in. Normally we'd use square wire in a pin vise. So I'm just going to tighten that up and it's in nice and tight. Then I would hold one end of the wire and twist the other and it would give like a diamond effect. So that's a pin vise. Again, not an absolute necessity. Um, sorry, that's my dog going to bark at the postman. <laughs> um, yeah, so we'll pop that one down. Like I said, not a necessity, but very pretty. Ring mandrel. I do always suggest that people buy a ring mandrel, especially if you're going to be making rings. You can use this is a heavy one. Um, you can you can use felt tips and dowels and things like that, but it is nice to have the real thing. They're not ridiculously expensive, um, but they are handy. Snips. These are Lindstrom snips. Um, these are ultra flush cuts and when you snip it's very very easy and you don't have a particularly sharp end. Um, got my name on because I use them for teaching. <laughs> You'd be amazed how stuff works. Um, so those are my Lindstrom snips. Any sort of ultra flush cuts. These are just classed as side cutters and these are cheap. Now they work. There you go. I aren't advocating you spend a lot of money on tools but that end is sharper. Now this is why. The uh, diagram at the top is side cutters, the one at the bottom are flush cutters. Okay, So mine are flush cut and I do like them. Even if you want to buy totally cheap tools, if you could spend a little bit more on snips, you do save time. So I've got a pair of snips, a square nosed pair of pliers, uh, round nose pliers, snipe, or chain nose pliers. I'll shift them up a bit so you can see them all. A ruler for you to measure your wire out. And really, you could manage with just those just those five things. If you want, you could get a pin vise and a ring mandrel and some plastic jarred pliers. But again, you can manage with just the pieces that are there above. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.